Hello folks, today we will do another uh, episode of my series Life Cycles and today we're gonna tie some of my favorite uh, insect to imitate. It's the blue winged olive, the bigger one, large dark olive. Uh, this is uh, on Sweden, <laughs> on Sweden. In Swedish it's uh, called Stor Åslända or Baetis Rodani. Uh, and it's one of the most common uh, mayflies, I think, over the world actually, but especially in Sweden uh, where I fish them a lot from the beginning of the season to the end of the season. Uh, and they, there are so many different like uh, sizes and, and colors of them, but uh, the most common that we fish is this uh, large, large dark olive or yeah, a bigger blue winged olive. So, let's tie it. In the wise we have a curved nymph from Aurex. Because we will start with the nymph of course. This is a size 14. We will tie all the flies today in size 14. So, but on different hooks. So, normally I tie them from, from 14 down to 18. But yeah, I think it's easier if I start to showing you this size. For the tail on the nymph, I use Coctelion fibers. And these are going to be like half the body length of, of the nymph. Not longer at least, but around half the body length of the nymph. And for the body for this, I love to use this material V-rib. And it has uh, two sides of it, so you have to try to find it. Try to find the flat side and tie it in, because you want the rounded side. These nymphs are swimmers, they are called. So normally they swim, but this is a nice pattern just to um, yeah, use as a like drifting, drifting pattern. And the back body will be around 3 fifth and for the wing case I like to use pheasant tail quite nice bunch of fibers this is a probably 10-12 feathers and tie them in And for the thorax, I use a dubbing. This is the snowshoe rabbit foot dubbing in the color tannish olive. Like that. And now you can just turn this over and the, the fly is kind of ready. But I like to have just a few legs so I use actually a um, hen saddle feather and I V cut it like this and then I take the fibers on each side here and just to Get them equally on each side and I just slowly pull it until I'm satisfied with the length of the legs. That is perfect. Then I fold this pheasant tail fibers over as the wing case. A few 
trade wraps. And I forgot to say that, but for the for the thread, this is a Vivas 60 knot uh, olive or light olive, it doesn't matter, but some in in some olive tone. And here, if you really don't want an olive head, you can use a marker pen. It really doesn't matter, but yeah, you can do it if you if you really want a darker head it's okay to use a marker pen so there we have the the nymph this is a nice just to have also as a dropper fly when they are hatching uh, or emerging um, you can have this below this is no weight in it it will just be kind of uh, just under the surface so it's kind of perfect to to use as a dropper fly when they are hatching or also if you fish with other flies so as the emerger we also use the size 14 but this is a curved dry fly instead same thread And for the shock, we will have a little bit of CDC. I will find an okay feather. You can also use like some some yarn, poly yarn, or sparkle or merge yarn, or yeah, something. But I will try to make these patterns as easy as possible, so you don't have to buy like super a lot of mat material if you don't have them. So I will use like some kind of same material in almost every fly or they will like be seen in, in a lot of these patterns. So for this I tie in the CDC as a shock or the tail fibers and then I go to the front like that cut this off and here yet again we will use the v-rib for a body material and then you try to find uh, try to see how it's gonna be tied in hopefully it will be okay Wait. And you can stretch this while you tie it in. Try to make a body with the thread. And then you do not overlapping turns, but with a little segmentation. Because this will be a light fly, so you don't want it to like sink too much when you're fishing this like a emerger and for the wing case or wing bubble we also use CDC again I use a natural CDC which is kind of perfect for for these flies of course and I have used two feathers and I just lay them together doesn't really matter you tie them in like this and then you pull them a bit back like that and then we use uh, this dubbing again and just take it easy with the dubbing I probably took too much now but yeah And then you fold this over and you want to make it a bubble so you press them back again. So you fold them over and press them back to form a bubble 
like this and you can just correct them a little bit perfect and here I just use a little pinch of dubbing again for the head not much just a two turn So I think we will actually have a competition for this one. Uh, all the flies I will tie here. Uh, I will, um, if you leave a comment, uh, I will uh, give them away to one lucky winner. Doesn't matter where in the world you live, but I will send them for you. So leave a comment after this video and I will um, pick a winner and send you the flies. So that was the emerger and now we will get on with the done. And this is a uh, this is the one I fished the most actually. No, I lied. It's actually the cripple one I fished the most. So, but we also fished this uh, the, the 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 done very much, but I actually fished the cripple the most. For the tail, yet again we use some Coq de Leon fibers. They will be sort of almost um, the same length as the body almost. Almost, not really. No, like two thirds of the body length. And then we use for the body here, we will use super fine. And actually, the, the done here, they can actually have kind of a bulky body. So, of course, you don't want it like look like a like a potato, but it doesn't, it's not like super bad if it gets a little bit too bulky, but I like to, to keep them kind of slim and I normally tie them in, in 16 but 14. They have actually a body length of like up to 12 millimeters, so yeah. You can tie them in size 14 also, even if I think that like size 16 is is a more proper one. Then again CDC feathers, two of them. This will be a no hackle fly. And I tie them in. Take this a little bit back. And I actually save some CDC like that for um, some extra flotation. And then for the body again, no, not for the body, but for the thorax, I use this snowshoe rabbit foot dubbing. And I do like two there, and then I take the wing and pull it back, and I build a head of thorax. And just whip finish. This is all like one of the first mayflies to, to hatch in the season. This and uh, Leptophlebia. Uh, but I love to fish uh, these uh, mayflies. Uh, I always, if it's something I would never be without, it's uh, these BVO's Blue Winged Olives or Bayetis to say. So that was the done. Now we will continue with the cripples yet again some cocktailion fibers for the tail so like the same procedure I apparently dropped some of the fibers. 
so we will tie in those also. Cut this off and same dubbing, super fine for the body. And like to three fifth of the body, and then CDC yet again for the wing two feathers and I tie them in and measure yeah something like that like the same length of the body leave a little pillow there and then of course we need a hackle I haven't prepared that time is running out on one of my cameras so I have to to change the battery there not the battery but the memory card and you can use whatever rooster hackle you want or cock hackle this is just a brown brown grizzly ish ginger grizzly something and here yet again the Snowshoe rabbit foot dubbing Slim body and here's the thing a lot of people do This is why I dub this area because I don't do Facebook hackles I want these hackles to be like legs so I maybe do one two Yeah, like two and a half three turns because the hackle should be legs, not like look like uh, it look. It sorry to say it, but it looks so fucking stupid. I don't understand it, but yeah, some people they they like to have hackles like that. But have you seen like a insect that has legs like like that? Sorry, but of course it looks good, but doesn't have any function. I like to fish with fishing flies, and this is my super perfect best fly ever yeah i love this this is you need uh, probably two dozen of this in size 14 and 16 maybe some 18 also so that was the crippled one and now we will uh, do the the last one the spent spinner i don't remember if i told you which hook i used for for the done crippled and uh, spent spinner, this is uh, RX Freshwater 501 or 500, size 14 also. So let's end with a bang. Yeah. No, it's really not. I rarely fish. I rarely fish the spent spinner of, of the Baetis or the PVOs actually. I don't see them very, very often actually. It's because they actually have a kind of a strange behavior when they are laying their eggs and um, yeah, that that thing. They the females actually uh, swim down to the surface to lay their eggs because they don't have a good. Uh, attachment to their eggs actually like a lot of other mayflies have so so the eggs won't go with the with the current they actually swim down and put their eggs to to something to hold on so here for the body all the spam spinner mayflies they all have a really thin body so do, here is really here you really have to be careful with the dubbing so you don't overdo it. Like that. And now for the wings, yet again CDC. And two feathers of course, I put them next to each other like this. And you 
do a little measurement how long you want them like this and here yet again we save a little bit of the CDC as a some extra flotation and here we actually use the dubbing again the super fine dubbing I mean and just a pinch of dubbing like that and then we split the wings and do a sort of an eight turn for this this is a really nice technique when you're tying small spent spinners and you want the CDC wings instead of like uh, what to call it some yarn or such synthetic material and then I like to just cut these because this is a small sexy fly so you don't want it to be too bushy that is perfect so like I said if you want to win these flies leave a comment and of course follow my page and give it a thumbs up so yeah hope to uh, see what you have for me so thank you